Hi, my name is David Amram, and I would hope that this is the chance for all of you to contribute whatever you can afford by making it possible to have this unusual, wonderful album, buy this fracking album, available for you and your children and people in your community. I would respectfully ask the politicians, not just on behalf of myself, because I'm 83, so I've had a fantastic life, and when it's time to check out, I'll be ready. But for my children, and for my first grandchild, and for all the other children and grandchildren Got a phone call. who want to live in Yesterday. this most beautiful state in the Union, Let please think of the larger of picture, which is that we all need Happy fresh news. air, good water to drink, and good food, and a community of what where we, we can be healthy. All of us who are citizens who would like to be heard can exercise our First Amendment rights to find out what we can do, each in our own small way, to try to make everyone else aware of the fact that we were only as strong as our weakest link. Chief Seattle said that a long time ago, and it still applies today. We only have one world to live in, and we have to think about that one world and our lives as a first priority. And while those gigantic corporations do have the constitutional right to say what they feel is good for their business, we also have the constitutional right to say what we think is good for the survival of the planet. And the show except the hot air that they blow. But we All of us have to think of how we can do with less not just blame it on corporations, all of us have to figure together how we can use less energy, use it more effectively, drive slower, try to be more intelligent, utilize what we have. And for the people who are selling out their land and property, they certainly have a right to do that. But hopefully, they're going to sell it to someone who's going to use it for valuable purposes to, as a place to live or even have a business, but not to put in something like fracking, which is genocidal. So what do you say That's crazy. For the chance to live life like a million True music that is built to last brings people together, brings people into harmony, touches your spirit, makes you want to live, makes you endure pain and injustice and suffering and tragedy and loss and come out swinging. And I think that music, in the true music by its own definition, is already as much activism as one can get because whoever, wherever you are, you can bring people together, not have one political party humiliate the other political party or insult or denigrate people, but bring people together. So really fine music is a wonderful way just to do that, to take people who might argue and scream and feel that they're enemies and they have no nothing in common, to realize that we all have that heartbeat, we all have a song in our heart, we all have a story, we all have a family, we all live on this earth, and whether we like it or not, or whether we like each other or not, we've got to find a way to get it together. Real music of any kind, symphony, jazz, folk, whatever, achieves that. And for those people who themselves believe in fracking, because the message, as the end of my song is more or less, is we really appreciate this chance to frack. Received your gracious offer, but we're sending it back. We're sending it back.